Welcome to another new lesson of Microsoft Excel. So in this lesson, we're going to learn about how we can increase our skills using ChatGPT and not even twice, but 10 X your skills. OK, so first off, we're going to learn about what ChatGPT is. So ChatGPT is a AI program or a software which is going to help you to find solutions for your problems or even sometimes help you in making progress and also even storing some data in another format. So how are you going to like open up ChatGPT? First off, you're going to have to go to a browser which you're going to have. So as I have here and I'm going to go here. OK, I already have it open. So when you go to, to your browser, just type in openai.com or just search for ChatGPT, which I'm going to do right here, just chat gpt and you will see the first one will be chat gpt or openai.com so you don't have to worry about it just click on it and then you will see that this interface will open up just click on try chat gpt and then you will be able to log in or sign up however you prefer okay so as i already have an account right here and this interface will open up so how will you add in or command or how will you communicate or start your conversation as you can see right here there is a tab called new chat or even a bar so you can type in your data and find a resolve or a solution how you can find or the exact type of results you need okay so as this is for microsoft excel so obviously you're going to need a couple of data and also the commands okay so it doesn't have to be quite specific or like it's not that um word or character sensitive but you have to make sure that it makes sense okay so we're gonna find out the total average profit subtract the lookup and find okay so first off to find the total as i already have the command ready right beside it which is gonna be in excel how to find the total values of cell e5 to f five not f5 but f11 my bad which is going to be f11 up up to here okay so what i'm going to do is click on it copy this control c go to chat gpd and then paste it control v after clicking on it you will see chat gpd will start generating your um your problem and then give you a solution to it as you can see that it has given me three steps in three steps it has also given me the formula how will i be able to do it so what i'm going to do is copy this formula Control c now i'm going to go to microsoft excel and i'm going to paste it well it doesn't work on merged cells so i'm going to do is just paste it over here hit enter my bad now i'm going to do is hit enter and you can see that this is the total of the whole cell from E5 to F11. Well, I'm going to do the same things to find the average, profit, subtract, VLOOKUP, and find. So what I'm going to do is also copy the same thing, Control c go to ChatGPD. And you can also do another thing, which is going to be in ChatGPD. And you have to remember one thing, that ChatGPD does not always give you the same type of result or the same type of solution all of the time. Another like advantage of using ChatGPD is that if you have a lot of um, conversations going on, you can also delete them. And then you can also start typing in a new command or a conversation. Just type like type in or paste the value or paste the command which you already have it in Microsoft Excel and it's going to give you the same type of result it's sometimes it's in just one line or and some description but sometimes this is or it gives you a solution where you have to follow a lot of steps but you don't have to worry it's going to give you a short one too okay so I'm going to go to Excel again as I've copied that from there I'm going to do is control V and you can see that 495 is the average so I'm going to do is make it black so um, as I selected from here, so that is going to be the answer. So the average of E5 to F11 is going to be 495. So I'm going to unmerge these cells, all of these, because sometimes the text does not uh, be get placed on merged cells. So I unmerged those. Now I'm going to do is find the profit. So I'm going to copy this too. Go to ChatGPD and then paste it. So you can just type in 
like new commands or new conversation in the same one so you don't have to worry about deleting each and every one of them and you can even save them i'm going to do is Control v paste it and then hit enter or click on this button hitting enter and you will see it will start generating you can also stop generating the solution so what what it is showing is this this is the formula so after typing in just press enter so you can also see the alternative steps which i can also do which is equal sum into the formula bar click and drag the mouse f13 to f14 highlight them and then minus sum at the second range of cells drag your mouse over e13 e14 to highlight them then close the bracket to close the parentheses hit enter so what are the parentheses in microsoft excel well the open brackets and close brackets after the formula are the parentheses okay so you have to keep that in mind so i'm going to use as select this without the code which is like given here without the codes control c you have to like select the brackets too so i'm going to paste this close the parentheses hit enter and you can see the profit is minus 5444 and why is this min minus 5444 because that is the cash outflow so you don't have to worry if it's like in minus okay now what i'm going to do is find the subtract so i'm going to use the same thing again control c go to chat gpd paste it hit enter and you will see it will start generating again keep sure or make sure to like stay connected to your internet so you can use it okay so as this is an open ai2 and a free one so you don't have to worry about any of like subscriptions and other stuff okay you can just log in and start using it control v okay after control v i'm going to go to excel find the cell where i want the data to appear control v uh, my bad i'm going to do is control z again I'm going to go to Excel, Control C this, Control C, go to Microsoft Excel, paste it, and you can see that 4455 is going to be the answer. Okay, that is a subtraction value. So now what I'm going to do is find the VLOOKUP. Well, this is going to be a bit different, so I'm going to do is Control C, go to ChatGPD, and then paste the data. After pasting the data, it's going to give me a big solution okay this time but sometimes when you select this type of formulas or find out the solution of these types well as this is a reference based formula or need specific or like um cell sensitive so you have to like you might see that you might get an error like na or maybe reference error well some like those okay but now i'm gonna do is equal or copy this control c and you can also see the uh, description of how the formula works so you don't have to worry about anything it's going to help you a lot now i'm going to go to excel find the cell paste in the value and you can see that this is an a why is this an a because as i've told you that this formula is case or cell sensitive so why is it an a we're going to change the values so not f a4 what i'm going to do is select sales now from here what i'm going to do is select or maybe like expand the cell which is going to be from here and now i don't want to let's say which one i want let's say i want the lf of sales okay so i'm going to type in three because it's in the third column from this array okay as this is three and i'm going to do is why is it false so let's tell you why this is false so if you want an approximate match just type in true but if you want an exact match which i want right now so i'm cl double clicking on it or you can also type in false okay and then hit enter and it's going to give you what it is so for sales it's trf okay so you don't have to worry about any of the problems but instead just use chat gpd to lessen your problems now what i'm going to do is find or use the find function so how not this one but instead i'm gonna use is let's say how to use find and replace Control c go to chat gpd and then paste it and it's gonna give you the solution Control and f on the keyboard this will open find and replace box so what i'm going to do is just use this okay control and f okay now i'm going to go to microsoft excel and i'm going to do is paste or type control f 
and you can see that this box has appeared now if you want to like find you can also find it but if you want to replace it just type on it let's say I, I'm gonna change TRF F into let's say I want that to be BTC now I'm gonna do is find as you can see all of them are TRF now I'm gonna replace all of them to BTC so this is how you will be able to change um, change or find use the find function in Microsoft Excel you don't have to worry because you can also do a lot of stuffs or increase a lot of skills even if you don't know how you can like use Microsoft Excel but yet you can use chat GPD to find a better solution or easier solution by using chat GPD and increasing your skills up to 10 X okay so hope you guys understood everything and thank you for watching this video Hope to see you in the next video.